In a shocking turn of events, boxing legend Mike Tyson has issued a death threat to Sean Diddy Combs, a statement that has sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry. The reason behind this unexpected confrontation is quite surprising. Reports suggest that Diddy has sold a highly controversial video for an astonishing $500 million on the dark web. This video allegedly features high-profile celebrities, and the sale has caused a significant uproar. Tyson has spoken out about the implications of this sale, suggesting that Diddy might be in dire financial straits, which could explain his drastic move. The nature of the video has raised eyebrows, and the involvement of prominent celebrities has added layers of complexity to the situation. Although there is currently no proof that these stars did anything wrong, the mere mention of their names has undoubtedly caused them considerable concern. The idea of being secretly recorded is troubling enough, but the fact that the footage was sold for such a massive sum of money raises serious questions about privacy violations. Celebrities caught up in this scandal are likely grappling with how this breach of trust could affect their lives moving forward. It's a grim reality when the last freak-off tape sold on the dark web fetched a staggering $500 million. When asked whether Diddy is trying to protect his friends or if they are shielding him, Tyson's response was surprising. He implied that Diddy is selling the video out of desperation for cash, painting a picture of a man who may be in financial trouble. This assertion raises serious questions about Diddy's current circumstances, indicating that money might be the driving force behind these actions. As it stands, Diddy is currently in a Brooklyn jail facing serious charges, including sex trafficking, racketeering, and multiple counts of sexual assault. These are not light charges, and the details emerging from his trial are nothing short of shocking. During the proceedings, the court has heard about Diddy's infamous freak-off parties, which have come under scrutiny because of these accusations. Diddy has been denied bail twice, meaning he must remain in jail while awaiting trial. Reports from the trial describe harrowing accounts of how Diddy allegedly used violence and intimidation to force women into participating in these wild, drug-fueled parties. Reports suggest that women were coerced into engaging with male escorts, adding to the disturbing nature of these events. If it were just Diddy at the center of this scandal, perhaps the focus would be solely on his tarnished reputation. However, the fallout from his actions could have ramifications for numerous other high-profile stars. This situation has escalated beyond just one individual, as Diddy's reckless choices threaten to drag others down with him. What's particularly distressing is that many of the celebrities involved might have been completely unaware of the sinister activities taking place around them. They could have been at those parties, oblivious to the terrible things happening behind the scenes. Now their names are potentially linked to Diddy's misdeeds, and they might face public scrutiny as a result. The idea that innocent parties could be unfairly judged because of Diddy's actions is heartbreaking. Tyson's remarks only add fuel to the fire, as he claimed the videos being sold on the dark web include names of very famous people, including Justin Bieber, Chris Brown, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, and Drake. The mention of these celebrities has understandably sparked concern, but it's crucial to remember that none of them have been connected to Diddy's illicit actions. Tyson's name-dropping has led to significant backlash with many fans criticizing him for spreading rumors about celebrities who had no involvement in Diddy's behavior. People worry that these stars might be unfairly caught up in this scandal when they were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's worth noting that none of these celebrities gave their permission to be recorded, and their reputations could suffer due to Diddy's actions. For context, many social media users describe Diddy's alleged freak-off parties as multi-day sex orgies filled with heavy drug use, excessive alcohol, and plenty of baby oil and lubricants. These events were notorious for their chaotic atmosphere, often disregarding the well-being of participants. 
According to reports, the debauchery would often commence after Diddy's famous white parties, which attracted stars like Leonardo DiCaprio, Paris Hilton, and Mariah Carey. Once the A-listers departed, a more secretive and indulgent gathering would unfold in the back rooms, far more wild than the public event that preceded it. Michael Kaplan of the New York Post reported that a witness testified against Diddy regarding these infamous parties. This individual claimed to have seen male-on-male -male sexual activity among rappers, leaving him stunned. While Diddy wasn't directly involved in those specific acts, the witness stated that the experience was enough for him to decline Diddy's offer to stay and continue partying. Diddy's lawyer, Mark Agnafilo, has asserted the musician's innocence following his arrest, stating that he pleaded not guilty. Diddy has been denied bail and ordered to remain in jail until his trial. Interestingly, Diddy himself seemed to have anticipated some controversy surrounding his parties. In the 1999 interview with Entertainment Tonight, he expressed, They're probably going to be arresting me and doing all types of crazy things just because we want to have a good time. Whenever you introduce something different into people's environment, it broadens their horizons, and some people get intimidated. Diddy claimed, Your parties are the hottest ticket around. They won't even give me a permit for the parties, man. They don't want me to throw the parties no more, but we ain't going to stop. We're going to keep on having fun and bringing people together from all walks of life. Recently, several Hollywood stars have come forward to speak out against Diddy. Ashton Kutcher hinted at deeper issues by stating, There are many things I can't share with the public. While his response may seem evasive at first, it carries significant weight, suggesting that there is more to this story than meets the eye. Kutcher's avoidance of questions about Diddy's alleged parties raises serious concerns. Why would he choose to remain silent on such a significant issue? It appears that something might be holding him back from speaking out though the exact reasons remain unclear. What is evident, however, is that there are serious problems surrounding these events, indicating that something is definitely amiss. As the fallout from Diddy's alleged actions continues to unfold, the public is left wondering about the truth behind the controversial video sale and its implications. The stakes are high, and many lives could be affected as more details emerge. Tyson's involvement only adds to the spectacle, and fans are left hoping that those who are innocent don't get caught up in the aftermath. In conclusion, the chaos surrounding Diddy's alleged actions raises pressing questions about privacy, consent, and accountability. As this story develops, it serves as a reminder of the complex interplay between fame, reputation, and the choices individuals make. Fans are left hoping for clarity and justice, particularly for those who might have been unwittingly dragged into this disturbing saga. So what are your thoughts on Diddy's alleged actions and the fallout? Do you think the celebrities mentioned deserve the scrutiny? Please share your thoughts below and let's discuss this ongoing controversy.